So we're cracking on in what's our little private garden and obviously it's looking amazing what we've got done. Shower blocks pretty much almost complete now. Um, we've had the delivery of gravel and we've been cracking on with a couple of the bits but unfortunately there's been a bit of a problem in that all of the footage that I got for doing the shower block and doing the work down there I've lost. So all of the work that I was putting together for the video unfortunately we can't do an out for um, so I'll be able to show you the work that we've done I just can't show you how we've done it <laughs> unfortunately but a lot of you have been asking um, where everything is in relation to each other so where the garden is that we're working on at the moment um, where stuff like the cart is where the other set of gates are that we've been working on um, so what I thought I'd do is just quickly show you exactly where everything is in relation and the work that we've been doing. Like I said, the shower block's almost done now, so that's looking brilliant. Um, we just need to give it a lick of paint and then get the finishing touches in there, which will be good. And then we've just had 16 ton of gravel delivered this morning and two ton of sand so we can finish off the wall. So we can crack on with that. And yeah, it's glorious sunshine again. So I'm just at the front of the shower. So I'll start off at the very front. So obviously you know where we are and I'll always come back to this point so you can see where I think is off the front of the shower. So what we'll do is we'll walk down to the private garden at the moment. So you can have a look around there and see all the work that we've been up to at the moment. And then I'll go down to the cart because quite a lot of people have been asking about the plants in the cart and how well they're doing and they're looking fantastic now with the really settling in and they're looking good so we can go down there and there's a few of the bits I want to show you as well so we'll crack on now so we're at the front of the shadow and being busy today as well getting the windows sorted so the two top windows up here they are both going in tomorrow so You'll be able to see that in hopefully Sunday's video. Um, we have been filming for that as well, but unfortunately we lost that. So all the glazing's done for that. And tomorrow we'll be taking the two old ones out and putting the two new ones in. So it'll just completely transform this side of the chateau with the dormer done, the two windows in and the stairs done. It's just gonna look amazing. And then we can crack on with the rest of the 400 suite. We've got one caravan here because one of them's gone. We're getting rid of one of them to clear the space. And when you're looking at the chateau, to the right hand side, we've got the big barn, which is like a mirror image of the cottage. It just goes further back. So that side is our garage. And this side is the function room. And this is one of the set of gates so this is the set of gates going down into what will be our private garden and people have been asking how many sets of gates we have i think in total we have about eight sets of gates in total and um, so all the gravel that we've just had delivered that's to get us started on this area all my tools because i've been working and this is our little shower cubicle So, you can see it, we've got the shower in now, which is brilliant. Just plumbed in the sink, and we've got the toilet. We just need to clean all the boards down because they've just been chucked outside while we're working. But we just need to fill all the gaps now, give it a lick of paint, and get the last finishing bits in. But I think it looks absolutely amazing. I need to get a cabinet for the boiler as well to box that in. And then, like I said, just the last couple of little bits. So that's all that done. Then the barn carries on. Obviously we've got all of this part and it carries on right the way down to this part. And you can see here, this arch, this is the original bread oven. I'm sure that's from around the early 1800s 
um, when they added the tower and stuff to, they built these and this was the bread oven for Lalasel. So it's brilliant when you see it on the inside. So this area will all be for the guests. Little Patrick's keeping guard. Hello Patrice. We need one more screen for that one there. And people were saying obviously about how the caravans look boxed in. Now, the front part's for sleeping, so you'd have your curtains closed there anyway, so that's not a problem. But just looking out of the views are just amazing. So you've just got this little private space, you're just looking out onto the all of the French countryside really. We need to give them all a good clean as well and then get gravel down here. So people are asking, yes, we're going to be putting gravel all down here underneath. And I think this area is just beautiful. I love this area. So just looking out, it's just absolutely amazing. So we're just doing all of this. So when the volunteers come, they've just got a nice space. This will all be graveled. We're going to have like a nice chair there. So they can just sit and relax and they've got their own privacy when they want them to. So obviously we've came down, showed you the shower block where that is and the caravan simulation. And then from the caravans, we're coming straight down to the gates that we've just had to rebuild. We've got down here is our other set of gates. Now this goes on to the public road, which is Le Coeur. So this is what we want to use as our private entrance. Um, and obviously it'd just be good for us coming up then so we can come straight up here and then we can park the cars either down here or up the top and it's just going to be far better for us and now we've got the gravel we can put the gravel down here and then in time we can get some little plants maybe lavender or just some ferns where they're getting quite a lot of shade they'll probably do well and the cobblestones that we took up in the last video so these are the cobblestones. Now, all of that part there is all going to be grass, all of that. But this section is going to be gravel leading up. So it's going to be like a, a road for us. And Mum was talking about using them to actually line, obviously, at either side, so to create like a bit of a barrier. And they would look lovely. So she started digging a bit in to see how difficult it'd be. And in this heat, it is quite difficult. Well, Patrick's just keeping guard with it. But yeah, what we're going to do, so it sort of swings around from there. We're going to come right the way up and it'll follow that string right the way up into the barbecue area. And then all of that will be graveled and all the rest will be grass. And then through that doorway, it takes us into the walled garden. So we've got like two different entrances to get to the two different levels down here so this takes us into this level of the walled garden so you've got the terrace up there and then the walled garden and this will be going into our private area and then you can go down here where these are all the buildings that we've done a tour of, not knowing what they were used for. And all the trees that we need to cut up. And this one takes us down into the laundry field. And down into the secret garden. So this is so right the way down the bottom now and the shadow is right through up there. So it is lovely the way it's all like laid out. Um, with just the paths and doorways in each one. So yeah, so obviously I've showed you this sort of area. The wall down the bottom, like I said before, now we've got the sand, we can crack on with that, get the top cap and stones on. We get that finished off and then that's all that done ready for the gravel and we can start getting that down shower block just needs a lick of paint and then that's that done 
which is good because the first volunteer, which is Rob, comes next week and then Abba will be coming in July and he's coming to help with all of the soft furnishings for the 400 suite. So that'll be amazing to start looking at getting like curtains and stuff like that done. So I said there's two sets of gates there. Then we've got our main set of gates at the front of the chateau, which I see the the nice on eight ones. Then we've got another set of gates here. Quite a lot of people have been asking when we're going to get on with painting them and getting them sorted. Now, this is going to be a massive job for us to tackle all of the ironwork here. Um, we're looking at getting someone in to do all the sandblasting for them and then Antonio's just going over and giving them a lick of paint because there's just so much to do. Like I said, we've got in total about eight sets of gates. So one of them's already done. Obviously the ones that we've added, which are right the way down the bottom. But this is the other set. And then we've got another set after this as well. So this is the other set of gates. Now we had to rebuild these ones and fit the gates on quite early on, which you might remember they were hidden amongst all the stuff here. Um, so we had to take the pillars down, fit the gates back in and get them sorted. And then there is another set of gates right the way down the bottom there. So that's our main set of gates, which we haven't really shown that much of, and they're absolutely spectacular. To be honest, I didn't really appreciate all of the detail that's in them until I was getting a close-up shot of them. And I think once they're painted, they're just gonna look absolutely stunning. So they're the original, original entrance ones, right the way up at the front. And then you come down the tree line drive, which we'll start using as the exit. Now we've got the main road, that we've built um, but they are absolutely spectacular we need to do a lot of clearing there to get the land a lot more level because it's built up over the years just because it's just been neglected um, but they do just look amazing so there's that gate so there's two sets of gates this side two sets of gates the other side two sets of gates in the front so we're up to six there then we've got the original entrance gate which is right at the front that's just a small one then we've got the other sets of gates which have collapsed which are in secret garden down the bottom and then so that's up to eight already we've got another set of gates that we're going to be putting on going into the walled garden and then i think that's about it I think nine sets of gates might be enough for us. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but quite a lot of people say like they just love gates 
and that's like the, the main like, feature for chateaus as well. And one thing we're not short of here at Lalacell is sets of gates and rebuilding them. Obviously we've had to build three up to now. So we're getting there with them. But we'll walk down to the gates at the cart now and we're going to show you the cart and show you how it's looking down there. Another thing as well, obviously we've been planting, we've got loads of, I don't know if they're Sophenias or Petunias, but the purple ones are double headed ones and then we've got the white ones and they're just starting to come through now, so they're looking beautiful next to the Chateau. So this is our second set of main gates, which are nice ones, and then Right down there between the trees, them um, two big trees, one goes either side, there's another little gate there and that was the original footpath. So people would have walked up here to enter the chateau. So yeah, that's just a, a very small one. Um, it's just like a, a gate for people coming through, not cars on out. And then right the way down the bottom here, is our new set of gates and our cart, which mum's just watering at the minute. So we'll go down there now and I'll show you. So the cart's doing absolutely amazing, as you can see. All of the front ones are obviously doing brilliant to trail over the front. The middle row, we've got um, Azalea. So they're all just settling in. Obviously we had them indoors and now obviously we've planted them outdoors. It's just took a bit of time for them to adjust and get sorted. So they're all sorted now and hopefully we should have some flowers on those. And then the ones at the back, I think they're Belia. So they'll grow up, obviously I know they grow quite big as a bush, but they'll fill out. And as you can see, we've done what you're all saying and we put them in pots. So we've just got some big tubs that we've put them in. So during winter we can bring them out and change them if we need to or do whatever we need to with them really. But yeah, they're doing all well. Um, we've got some euphorbia in the corner here. I think this is I'm sure it's a trailer one, I don't know if it's a trailer one or not. Um, it looked like it was trailer when we bought it. But yeah, they're doing fantastic. So we've got an irrigation system that we're going to put in place to water them all as well. We just need to wire it up and bring it all the way down here. And so yeah, so like I said, the cart is looking absolutely amazing. Got a couple of little bits to finish off down here and then That'd be brilliant but around the edge as well we planted I'm not too sure what these ones ah see if they did flower and they were beautiful they had loads of beautiful little white flowers on but they're growing a, a big bush so I'm not too sure what they're called but in between them we've got three little lavenders going right the way around so you can see them they're all just flowering now and they're looking absolutely beautiful so yeah, so hope obviously you've enjoyed be showing you around. Sorry it's just a, a walk around showing you. Obviously unfortunately all of the filming of the work that we actually done with the windows and with the shower block and getting the gravel delivered and stuff like that. That was supposed to be in this video of here to show you. But in a way it's good because you don't have to sit and watch us do all the work. You just get to see the end product. So yeah, and you've managed to see a couple other bits that we don't normally tend to show you. But 
at least it gives you a better understanding where everything is all the different sets of gates that we've got and where they are and also I'm just coming up the drive now to the chateau the little stables that we've got are right the way over there so that's another set of stables that we've got on top of the big barn um, the opposite side of the cottage so that was the one that we said about trying to renovate for Paula or Auntie which in time I think would be absolutely lovely it would be beautiful to do that but in the meantime I think we're going to look at a nice log cabin for her and we'll get that somewhere so she has somewhere properly to stay and she can stay over longer then and get all these gates painted <laughs> but like I said hope you've enjoyed it and I am sorry obviously about me losing the files but I'll doubly make sure this time that I get all of the footage for the new windows going in to completely transform the chateau and then we can get the scaffolding down and just see how amazing it looks all in all I think it just it's gonna look absolutely superb once we get that off so yeah I'm just coming back up to the chateau now if there's anything that you ever want to see please just let us know and we could do something like this again and show you one last thing I'll quickly show you. So we're back up at the Chateau and all our hydrangeas are doing amazing and they're all just starting to flower. Just how amazing they are. So we've got the irrigation for all of these just to help keep on top of them. And they've lasted all winter. I think we only lost about, I think about three, which was really good. So we'll be able to get some on put those in this space and then hopefully in a couple of years this whole front of the wall it'd just be beautiful and filled with colour but just to see the first flowers coming out on them it's just amazing and then to go with the flowers on the top of our urns each side it's just lovely all these ones are doing well all alongside they're all just about to flower as well so yeah that's it for now hope you've all enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already it massively helps us <clears throat> and join us on sunday for the new windows going in where it's just going to absolutely transform this side of the shadow it's just gonna honestly it's gonna look amazing and then Ash will be back, probably coming next week with Graham. Graham's coming back next week as well. And we'll be at a crack on with getting the 400 salon completely sorted. So the paint's due as well, which is good. So the special green that we've had created for the 400 salon, that should be here within the next week or so. So we'll be able to get that sanded and get the room painted. And then, yeah, it's just gonna look absolutely amazing so join us on sunday for the windows going in and then after that hopefully when graham and that come we'll be able to get the scaffolding down and just see how amazing it actually looks but for now i'm going to go and get my tea and i will see you soon bye if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau then please join us on patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.